Hi boys and girls, today you're going to learn how to use a web browser called Google Chrome. The icon for this application is this one just down here. Some of you may be used to using this way to access the internet. It's called Internet Explorer. This is an old application that's going to be removed from our school computers very, very shortly. So it's best if you get into the habit of using this web browser now so that when this one is gone, you won't be stuck. In order to find Chrome, you can come down here to this little button down here where you can perform a search function. If you click in here and type in Chrome, C-H-R, you'll see that uh, this application comes up here. Just use your mouse to click on it once and it will open in a brand new window. Once you get into here, this is Google's homepage. You can tell because that has the big Google sign here. You can search for items that you would like to look for using the search bar here, or you can also type uh, in the Omni box up here. This is this big box all the way along here. In your web browser, if you would like to make the screen smaller, you can make it smaller by clicking this button here. If you would like to make it bigger again, you click that same middle button and that will go to your full screen. If you'd like to get rid of the screen but not shut it down entirely, you can click this button and in order to find it again, you just have to come back down here to the bottom and click the application to open it again. Across the top, you can have lots of different tabs. For example, if I wanted to search for dogs, I could type dog into here and my search results come up along here. But if I also wanted to search for cat without losing my results for looking for dog, I come up here, click new tab, and I can start to search for cats as well. You can change between your tabs by just moving your mouse and clicking on the tab you would like to see at any one time. You can have lots and lots of tabs open at the same time, searching for different pieces of information. If you get stuck and you accidentally click on the wrong link, you can use the back button just up here. And that will take me to the previous page that I was at. If you accidentally click back, that's okay. You can just click forward again as well. If ever you get stuck or lost and you'd like to just return to the Google homepage, just click on the home button here. Down along here, these are all of my bookmark sites. These are sites that we might explore later on in the year. Down here, you can check to see who is logged in to this account. As you can see, this one is Mr. Forbes's account. If you're logged into somebody else's account, it's really, really important that you click on this button here and click sign out. That's to protect their privacy as well as yours. Up in the top button over here, you've got the menu item. In year one and year two, you don't really need to use the menu item. However, it's nice to know that it's there. Today, we're going to be learning how to perform different searches using this search engine. In a moment, your teacher's going to give you an instruction to go to a computer, log on, and open up a web browser and search for five different things you'd like to learn about. 